Sir William Grove. This Welsh scientist built the first fuel cell in 1839, but it wasn't until 1950 that another British scientist, Francis Bacon, demonstrated its practical use in a fuel cell stack. Only then did the fuel cell begin to take off with the U.S. manned space program building on Bacon's success. Let's see how it works. Like a battery, a fuel cell has electrodes, an electrolyte, and produces electricity. Unlike a battery, a fuel cell doesn't store energy. It produces power as long as hydrogen and oxygen are supplied. Refueling, not recharging, is needed. This is what happens. Hydrogen fuel is fed to the anode. Upon contact, electrons are free, beginning the flow of electricity. The hydrogen ions then travel across the electrolyte to the cathode, where they recombine with freed electrons and with oxygen, forming electricity. Water and heat are released as byproducts. In certain types of fuel cells, other ions travel from cathode to anode instead of anode to cathode. But nevertheless, the premise remains the same, that electricity is generated through an electrochemical reaction.